Hey guys, Miss Style of here today. We're going to be playing some Sonic Dash 2 Sonic Boom for old time's sake, alright? So, what I mean by that is so previously in the past I made some videos of me playing this game, but obviously the recording wasn't that great because obviously the game was louder than my voice. I'm hoping my voice is louder than the game. Um, obviously, it should be because I have better equipment now to record. So, yeah, I just wanted to just play this just for just some memories, you know what I mean? This game is always is such a great game, and I always love it. I've, I still play it to this day, and even my brother even comes in and says, like, "Man, you should still play this game." And I was like, "I just love it that much." I do feel it more than the first Sonic Dash, even though this first Sonic Dash has more content, like more characters, more stuff to do. They even update the game more often than this game, and I, find, I kind of feel a bit upset about that. But I think it's maybe because the Sonic Boom franchise has kind of you know, being forgotten and Sega's kind of seen that as well and they just want to move on. Now that's understandable, it's up to them, they can do what they want, it's their game after all, not mine. But anyways, we're going to be playing. So, also at the moment, so good thing about this, I'm playing this on a, what's it called, the emulator. And with this emulator I can be able to force games in uh, landscape mode. Because this game looks really good in landscape mode, honestly. So we got Sonic, and we've got Amy, and we've got Knuckles. We, oh uh, yeah, just to let you know, this is the last character they ever added, Vector the Crocodile. So, just to let you know, I am using a modded version of this game, just so I can just use the characters without having to do a lot, because I don't really want to make this to a let's play, I just want to just show a little gameplay of it. So, yeah, we're just going to play, just to let you know, we are going to be playing with like, um, what is it called? Yeah, we're going to be playing with the mouse. Yeah, because um, you can't use your phone as an emulator, so it's on PC, so it won't work. So, yeah, let's do this. Um, yeah, let's run. So, the aim of this game is obviously just, just go forward and just keep going until you die. So, yeah, let's do this. So, yeah, it's just... Landscape mode looks really good on this game, honestly. I absolutely love it. The game might have a crash, so if it does, then I might just have to edit it, edit the bit out where it crashes, and then just, you know, resume the next part. Sometimes just ha I do get a crash on this. I'm not gonna lie, playing with a mouse is a bit annoying, but there's nothing I can do about it, because like, I try my best trying to do it, use a phone to do it, but it does not work whatsoever. So obviously, in this game, you can swap characters mid-run. Well, I think that was actually quite a good thing to have, because you'd get bored of one character all the time. So obviously, landscape mode is kind of weird, because like, everything's just so massive. Like, when you pick a character, look how far the character is. Normally, a character would be, like, hunched to the left of the screen, but it's not. So, this is the Android version of the game, because this is the Android emulator. There's no IO iOS emulator, but it doesn't really matter as long as you get the Android emulator. Because they're both pretty practically the same, but Android gets a bit more games than iOS, in my opinion, so... So, yeah. This is fun, though. I'm probably just going to do one run, and then leave it there. The, double, the dash, I just have to double click on my mouse. Because click, cause clicking, obviously, the mouse obviously makes it, so you're tapping on the game. This is quite fun though, I actually do love this game, and I'm not gonna lie, playing with touch controls, I'm honestly freaking good at this game with touch controls, but when it comes to the mouse, I'm not as good, because obviously I'm not as quick, you know what I mean? So, okay, let's be Knuckles. Yeah, so Knuckles in, in, in this, uh, in Sonic Boom, he's not, he's not as good as like, the normal Knuckles, he's more dumber than the rest in this version, and he is the most biggest out of the whole group, and yeah, I just, he doesn't, I'm not sure about him, I'm not sure if he looks that great really, like, I actually do love him in the Sonic Boom TV show, TV series, like the, the cartoon series, where it's called, He's actually quite a good character, he makes quite some funny jokes and stuff sometimes. But, yeah. Amy in Sonic Boom as well, she's kind of a bit of a control freak. Like, but in the normal Sonic franchise, she'd always go after, like, 
so I can try and chase after them. But in this one, she doesn't really care. She's just a lone wolf. She just wants to do her own things and stuff. But she, it's not something they kind of secretly hide it. That the fact that Sonic can laugh if you like it. Uh, I mean, Sonic and fucking Amy. Sorry about that. Oh shit, my game had like a mini freeze there. <laughs> so. So that won't really introduce Shadow, I just want to do like a limited gameplay. We all know how Shadow plays in this game, surely you guys know if you've played this game before. So I'm going to be Sonic again, Sonic's obviously my favourite, he's my main character of the game. Thing. Fucking hell. Oh shit, my game had another mini freeze. It's so good I can force game into landscape mode, because landscape mode looks so good for these games, mate, honestly. Even with Subway Surfers, you know, Subway for Surfers looks so good. Oh, then another mini freeze. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda really wish I had an Android device, because obviously playing games on Android, it's more better than iOS, my opinion. Because you, you have more variety of games, like there's some games on Android that you can't get on iOS. So that's kind of disappointing, but it's still fine, my opinion. I'm probably end this off at the forest era. And we're going to be Sonic off, obviously, just to end it all. So yeah. Obviously, this is running at 60 FPS. Oh, I died. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Um, so this game runs at 60 fps obviously back in the day when this game first came out uh, this game used to run at like 30 fps because at the time probably phones weren't that strong enough to handle 60 so maybe, or maybe 60 wasn't a thing at the time but yeah that's really it that's the whole let's play i just wanted to show you yeah that's my high score 818,000. and we completed a reward nice did something but these are these guys, I'm gonna leave it there. It's been your boy Stylus in. I just wanted to make this little video, just like a just a you know, old time sake video because like I used to do these is a lot back on the day and I and literally like when I used to record get this footage for this game I used to just use like a a recorder on my tablet and that wasn't that great because obviously you couldn't cut down the game audio and you couldn't like increase the your your voice audio so but I'm able to do that now because I'm actually recording on like some actual software. But either way guys, hope you guys do enjoy. It's been your boy Silas in here. And yeah, peace out. This is going to be uploaded on my main channel because this is where, uh, this is the channel I've started doing my Sonic 2 Dash Live. Well, not really. There's actually this other channel I had, Sonic Pro Star, but I don't know how to get back into that account. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy and peace out. Bye.